role that you have to play as far as the revival in Nigeria is concerned obtain grace to play it with honor in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over someone here your bishopric could not be taken by another all those who have been sent as watchmen to prepare people in the place of priesthood obtain grace to be effective in your assignment the communicators of doctrine who have been given the eye of the spirit to dissect scripture and bring understanding to the body receive grace to be effective the pastors that have been mandated to take care of God's flock in the name of Jesus I declare that you will be effective the apostles and the prophets that have been mandated to coordinate the spiritual activities across their predefined territories receive grace to serve God's purposes with humility in the name of Jesus the kingdom financiers that have been mandated to be empowered by wisdom and to supply resources that make for this coming revival obtain grace to be effective in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for all within the land of Abel Kuta it will be a tragic thing if this kind of prophetic and apostolic conference is happening yearly and then it does not translate to the spiritual advancement the socio-economic advancement of the people within the land therefore I lend my voice with every man of God here we pray first for every church in Abel Kuta regardless the denomination regardless the platform provided they name the name of Christ and contribute towards the building and the maturing of the saints be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus we pray for every business and every economic structure that has been put in this land to provide value and better the lives of people in the name of Jesus the wisdom and the favor you need to thrive and remain receive it in the name of Jesus we pray for this ministry that have so graciously provided the platform year in year out for us to be blessed in the name of Jesus we stand in faith with the angel over this ministry and we declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that that which comes upon men who give their all to the program of God let it come upon this ministry let it come upon God's servant let it come upon all who walk with him in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me for all who have given for this program financially in terms of prayer I got to understand that there was a prayer team that was put up specifically for am I right on that men who kept praying you didn't just come people prayed that God will clear the atmosphere for you to come the Bible says a worker is deserving of his wages we pray in the name of Jesus for everyone who is part of the prayer team and the workforce here of ABM may the God of heaven who is the rewarder of men reward you speedily in the name of Jesus let me declare that everyone who is here present you will not be absent by next year's program we have two more months to the end of the year this is where the waster is unleashed over destinies there is a spirit called the waster you will just hear that someone shouted my head my head and just died let me speak over your life if there is any plague of death over you to say you will not finish this year with honor and with dignity I command death to pass over you now death passes over you now and in the name of Jesus as part of our spiritual and corporate responsibility we lend our voice in this conference to pray over the future of Nigeria we decree and declare father arise over this nation February is the election we have just a few months 
in the name of Jesus we decree and declare every quickness to tie down this nation and put it under siege we stand as priests upon the watchtower and we declare the purposes of God for Nigeria must be established in the name of Jesus finally let me pray a fire I have learned that you do not have anything valuable if the spiritual substance that makes up your life is low or not there no matter what else you have if you lose touch with spiritual reality you have lost touch with everything therefore I pray for you from the depth of my heart your hunger for God your hunger for the things of God your hunger for the place of the altar your hunger for the Word of God your hunger for consecration and walking in uprightness and holiness and righteousness may that great you will be a believer in word you will be a believer in deed you will be a believer in lifestyle you will be a believer in character And for your family members that you left wherever you left to come here in the name of Jesus because you are here on this ground we send angels on assignment by the word of the Lord to bring to pass that which is needed in their in their lives in this season in the name of Jesus Christ Jesus level spiritual illumination i am tired of ignorance i am tired of shadow boxing not having spiritual intelligence someone pray open your mouth and pray the intelligence to be able to navigate my way around life and command the victory that befits royalty show me oh god open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of your law someone is praying those following online make sure you pray we are asking the Lord to grant us illumination by the Spirit illumination by the Spirit illumination by the Spirit someone is praying it says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course but I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High it says you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes hallelujah the last prayer point I'm going to give you and then we'll wrap up for today please look up the Bible spoke about a strange man in the Bible called Uzziah who became a very prosperous and a mighty man and the secret behind his might was that Uzziah set himself to seek the Lord he says and for as long as he sought the Lord the Lord made him to prosper there is a relationship between seeking the Lord seeking the Lord is proof of humility is proof that you are incapacitated and you do not know enough to seek the Lord the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water brooks so my soul many of us your your passion for God is going down God is showing you in dreams God has used the prophetic to show you God has used experiences to show you something is going wrong with your spiritual life don't wait until it goes down to the point where you become a victim of any assault of darkness last prayer point fan my passion for you fan my passion for the house of God fan my passion for spiritual things someone lift your voice and cry to God it is not compulsory but if you are serious with God cry to God from the depth of your heart fan the embers of my spiritual life fan it back to flames take away laxity and unseriousness from my life it says return to me and I will return to you is someone praying fan my passion for you fan my passion for your house I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord that the house of the Lord will not be something you drag yourself to and when you go and sit down you're just waiting for service to end so you go back is with delight 
The psalmist said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. When your passion for the house of God goes down, I assure you that the platform for your growth has also been destroyed. It says, when I came into the sanctuary, then understood I. The house of God is a place of understanding. Hallelujah. When the devil wants to destroy you, he will make it look like a burden to come to the house of God. I am very touched and humbled when I hear that people from as early as 8, 9, 10 are already here and they sit patiently till the service, praying, studying, their Bibles are not being distracted. Let me encourage you, God is no man's debtor. This God you see, he will visit you in a way that it will be evident to all. Are you learning? I just returned from a trip and then came here and I could see my people they were just looking at me and I'm sure that if they had their ways they would just say apostle you stretch yourself please sleep but even the devil knows that for as long as I am breathing now and it is not because God has made me head over this vision by the privilege of God's grace it is my passion for the house of God. If you do not have passion for the house of God, I am telling you, it's an attack. You are either backsliding or it's an attack or both. You, you fight it. Passion for the house of God. Because you will get more than money there. In the house of God, you will find strength. They go from strength to strength. As many as appear before the Lord in Zion. Have you been edified tonight? So please go back and kill that laxity. Take responsibility over your spiritual life. Please understand that every time you appear before God, you are not doing God a favor. You are not doing a man of God a favor. I tell you sincerely, uh -uh, it is for your own benefit. Bishop David Oedipo would tell us that every thing command God gives man it is entirely for his own benefit not for God's benefit make up your mind the house of God make up your mind to engage the Word of God learn sit down be a student of Scripture let your knowledge not just be Sunday after Sunday you can go to the the, uh, the YouTube page and there are so many teachings camp with them you hear the testimonies of people here they will tell you I sat with this message some of you if we give you a recommendation of teachings listen to this add this to it like a doctor's prescription you usually would go because we live in a generation where we want instant sharp sharp anything that is lasting is subject to the law of time god wants you to be built he doesn't want to throw you up so that you come back in shame he wants to build you like an edifice in the name of jesus i decree and declare every spirit fighting your spiritual growth fighting your passion for the house of god fast, uh, fighting anything god in your life i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night hear me and any association around your life that makes god look like a burden and a luggage either because of westernization or because some kind of deception of hell i separate you from those associations some of you the moment you lie down to pray is the heat of the sun that wakes you you don't have the sensitivity to wake up even when the holy spirit is beckoning on you wake up it doesn't have to be that there is until there is danger waking up to pray is part of your spiritual growth routine you must discipline yourself prayer is not about being passionate you don't bath because you are always happy to do it you don't eat just there are times you don't even want to eat but you have to eat for your health he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint please 
kill that laxity don't say apostle spoke over my life the demon will run away build stature build power in the secret place there are many of us easy things are still hard because you are still a child shake off certain limitations some spirits should not be disturbing you again because of the excellency of the fire that emanates from your life the same strategy satan used in your life two years ago and defeated you hands down he's still coming with it again and you've not grown enough to detect it Abba. the spirit of understanding understanding of scripture and understanding of the ways of god in the name of jesus may it rest upon you now yeah. high level spiritual understanding i impart that grace upon you now yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. i decree and declare the grace to fight ignorance ignorance of the ways of god ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom i declare that grace released upon you now the grace that will allow the word of god transform you transform your speaking transform your lifestyle transform your appearance transform everything about your life may that grace rest upon you now and hear me everywhere you have been living a defeated life kings are known for excellence there is an aura of victory always around them there are kings who slay themselves when they find out that their kingdom their treasures everything has been taken they literally kill themselves because they feel there is nothing there again can i tell you this for any one of you who does not have the evidences around your life that should validate that you are a priest and a king in the name of jesus i declare over you may the lord supply those evidences lavishly shame and reproach i drive it far from your life 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 in the name of Jesus let the spirit of power rest upon you let the spirit of wisdom rest upon you let the spirit of might rest upon you let honor rest upon you let the grace for favor rest upon you the grace that attracts resources let it let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it from the depth of my spirit may this grace that makes for honor let it rest upon you may this grace that makes for favor let it rest upon you you are a distinguished people and when you step out everybody will know that you are Beulah and Hepzibah like that garden that the Lord has blessed let there be results to your christian experience i forbid a frustrated christian life i'm not ashamed to bless you always if you need a car i release it in your life if you need a house i release it in your life if you need a job i release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth i prophesy upon your life everything that will make you comfortable to serve the lord i stand upon this altar i declare may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ and for those of you here who are in ministry and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open i break that door now help them please i break that door now listen 
a door is a system for access it midwives one room and another it midwives one dimension and another when that system for access is closed you can weary yourself at the door and praying again every door that has refused to allow you go forward i stand by the god of heaven let that door be broken now believe it i'm placing something on your life may that door be broken now hear me and for those of you who god gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities is there hope for a tree i want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where god can restore i prophesy to you in the name of jesus everything that left your life either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now I call it back to your life now. Every troublemaker in your life, not allowing you sleep, not allowing you rise, who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there, manipulating them to reject you in the name of Jesus. I cut you away from them. And everybody who asks you where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week may my God start answering them not next week this week may my God start answering them oh may the mighty God arise for you arise for your children arise for your family Let me pray for those in government, leaders and politicians in this house. I'm not ashamed to pray for you. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus. May my God distinguish you. I place an anointing upon you. May God distinguish you in a way that will surprise you. Captains of industry, may my God distinguish you. Businessmen, may God distinguish you. Career people, may God distinguish you. You will become strange men and women of influence. whatever makes resources run away from you i stand by the power of the prophetic and i declare over your life anywhere your resources are across the globe not just in nigeria the wisdom the favor and the stamina to attract those resources i decree and declare receive the grace for it now Everybody who came here from outside this state or from outside this nation, I stretch my hands to you in the name of Jesus. May the God of sudden visitations, the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice, may he visit you tonight. Tonight, tonight, not tomorrow. Help that lady tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You hear me? I pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet I speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the Lord turn your life around may the Lord change your story may you know him more may your Christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit 
creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but i assure you by god there is nothing i call that does not come i stand by this grace and i declare everything you have called and has refused to come i push it by prophecy it must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus give him praise father we honor you and we thank you wave your hands to jesus from side to side let him know that you have received thank you jesus the bible says with prayer with thanksgiving with thanksgiving thank you jesus you will return into a realm of strange testimonies some of you may not know what has come on your life no you didn't come to church with what is on you now i assure you by god no matter how anointed you are i am telling you what is on you now you didn't come to church with it you are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with in the name of jesus name of jesus name of jesus investment on them a total waste a vessel that is close no matter how large cannot receive a vessel that is small no matter how willing cannot receive more than its capacity hallelujah so i like you right where you are to begin to pray in the spirit i like you to see your ministry as you are praying stepping into another level i like you to see the mandate god has placed upon your life stepping into another level whether you are at the back whether you are in front it does not matter i like you to see your music ministry being part of the cutting edge tools that God will use in this end time. I'd like you to see the prophetic mandate that is upon your life that perhaps is at its infancy, fan to flames, to dimensions where it can serve the purposes of God across nations. Someone is praying. Please pray just a few minutes in the spirit. I like you to see your bishopric as far as the end time program of God is concerned being secured and preserved by your passion and determination My belly 
curse of living water be a healer. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Hello, in Madonna. Hello, in Madonna. Hello, in Madonna. Shabanda salabalash kada praska de belengotos. Rada baratu se se kada belengotos praska de balanda. Shabraska de belengos kada balatos. Just two more minutes in the spirit. Skada balada barata skada brenda saleba negades. Ada balas shabra skada belengos shabra skiata. Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, every sin and every weight and then to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now please listen. Before you sit down, the Lord just opened my eyes to see something. Don't sing, but as I raise the song, please bring all the people out under the anointing. God is doing something very, very mighty. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. You are awesome, so awesome in your ways. Just bring them out under the anointing. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. Oh, that's that our woman. Just a moment. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. There is a spirit of glory that is resting upon people. Your ministry and your life will not be the same. Not this night. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are glorious. So glorious in your ways. Dear prophet of God, there is a clarion call upon your destiny. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious. Alabada gata fresca de belegatos. Cabrande cabaratos, adiada balada balada. You are mighty. So mighty in your ways. There is an ignition of fire. You'll be seated shortly. But this is what God is doing and this is the instruction he gave me. 
young and old alike is an outpouring of the spirit upon you you are powerful so powerful in your ways you are powerful powerful so powerful in your ways oil is being poured upon the destinies of men not just their heads the destinies of men you are powerful please bring them out so powerful in your ways you are mighty so mighty in your ways you can be dangerous so dangerous in your ways You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Shall I get there? Oh, 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 oh. I'm hearing the word selected and appointed for a time as this. There are people you have been selected by God. That unction is coming upon you right now. Selected for your families. Selected for your regions. Some you've seen it in dreams. Others in visions. But this is a night. Here in Abel Kuta, that mantle of your destiny is locating you. Bring them out. Selected and appointed for a time as this others for a generation others the Josephs of the family young and old, male or female, the spirit of grace, selected and appointed. There are people, there are mantles upon you. You do not even know God is bringing you out by his spirit. hallelujah now please hear me hear me the lord is ministering to me that there are people here a spiritual season is coming to an end in your life and another one is opening up it's it's a new level of grace and a new level of fire for some you are ministers of the gospel god brought you here because Abata, Shadabata. there is a dimension of grace ministers of the gospel i'm hearing this particularly for preachers people who are ministers of the gospel the mantle that has been looking for you i direct it to you i direct it to you male and female access that mantle in the name of jesus access that mantle by the power that raised christ from the dead Come on, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. When we call people out like this, it is not just for show, just to see people littered on the ground. No. There is something that God is doing. I stretch my hands towards all those in front. In the name of Jesus, the levels in the spirit that you should enter for the sake of your destiny and your assignment, we command vistas to be opened now. By apostolic authority, I decree in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above all names, I call upon he who has the key of David. May that new realm and dimension be open for you. In the name of Jesus, let it be open for you. Let it be open for you. In Jesus' name. 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 Please. Please. As much as those who can go back to their seats in front, I want them to go because I want to make another call. Please sit down if you can. Please sit down if you can. Be very sensitive whether I saw so many people at the back. Doesn't matter which, you know, whether you are at the, the, um, the canopy or any other place. I want you to be very sensitive. I had a brief time of prayer. There is another set of people I'm going to ask to come out. Those, if, if they cannot stand up, just leave them, please. Don't force them. Now listen, please. One of the mantles that God is restoring in this conference i had a vision and it was the vision of the transfiguration and i saw moses and elijah there are two types of the prophetic the prophetic ministry that will be activated in this end time moses was a prophet elijah was a prophet but the administration of their offices were not the same are we together all of them were mandated to preserve the purposes of god in a generation Elijah preserved from Jezebel and Ahab. Moses preserved from Pharaoh. And all of them required signs and wonders. It was a mantle and a rod that helped them to preserve the purposes of God. God is restoring an ancient prophetic heritage. Please hear me. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Many grandfathers, some of you come from physical paternal families that carry the heritage of the prophetic but because you are dull of seeing and your ears do not hear they just told you a story that your grandfather was part of those who would visit these men at the campground and you have been having visions of these experiences one of the mandates tonight is to stir up particularly this prophetic dimension again we need it not just for show don't be afraid of the prophetic because of the little abuses here there is going to be a steering, a steering of that prophetic mantle. For some of you, that mantle has been hovering around whole families and everybody has rejected it. Everybody has rejected it. I pray that you are not the one to reject it tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray. The moment... I make this call my apologies if, if I don't have the time to teach it's a miracle service healing is something we can do in 10 minutes these are superior levels of spiritual activations that strengthen God's people and make the program of God efficient for those people I want to by the anointing to bring them out right now there is a restoration of the prophetic God wants to have these prophetic representations across families and regions. I stretch my hands right now upon everyone that has been assigned in God's program 
and prophetic schedule to carry this mantle whether you are aware or not at the count of three in the name that is above all names whether you are seated or standing may that mantle search you out right now I release that grace carry that mantle right now male and female bring them out preachers businessmen that mantle of the prophetic in the order of Moses and Elijah coming upon your life please help that lady some of you have been faithful in certain seasons God has subjected you through certain seasons and you have been faithful now a new order of grace that prophetic only the prophetic that's what God is ministering to people on now I stretch my hands yet again from the back to the front there may be someone no one is seeing you but the all-seeing eye of the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind, may that grace find you right now. Please bring them out. May that grace find you right now. May that grace find you right now. David was in the wilderness and the anointing still found him. Holy, holy, blessed is he comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, all of these prophetic graces you are staring, in the name of Jesus I pray that they will go through the seasons of training faithfully and they will find their place in your prophetic program. I activate those graces now. I activate those graces now. The seeing eye and the hearing ear. I activate those graces now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I activate those graces now. When Joel stood in Acts, in, when Peter stood in Acts chapter 2, he said, This is that which was prophesied by Joel the prophet that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh not some all flesh hallelujah the spirit of prayer and intercession as a mantle is coming on certain people right now father i don't know where these people are but in the name of jesus as touching your program not only in abel kuta not only in the southwest but even in partnership with what you are doing across the globe may that mantle of prayer and prophetic intercession let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you let it rest upon you now not just young people even elderly people you will see mothers in their 50s 60s 70s traveling for hours by the energy of the spirit in the name of jesus christ The spirit of prayer and intercession is resting upon you right where you are because you need to build capacity 
for that which God is committing to your life and your destiny. My last prayer for this session, please listen carefully. I'm only ministering as the Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are many of you that are going to be delivered right now from the spirit of error. Please hear me. There is the spirit of error. The spirit of error only activa is activated when it finds zeal. You can have zeal, but the spirit of error can lead a man into something that may seem to have a semblance of godliness. But you will later find out whether it's your prophetic pursuit, whether it's ministerial pursuit. There is a path, the Bible says, a way that seemeth right unto a man, unto a man of God, unto a prophet, unto an apostle. In the name of Jesus, any man, any church, any prayer group, any platform that is under attack from the spirit of error, I decree and declare right now in this crusade, I command that spirit and that influence to live your destiny now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. There are people today whose entire spiritual construct was founded on spirits of error. It does not mean the people are bad. You can have a vision. Many people's lives have been confused today because of spirits that carry a semblance of the Holy Spirit and give mandates and assignments. The more you are obedient to that mandate, the more it is misleading you and others. There is no righteousness and there is no green pasture in that kind of obedience I'm praying again false dreams lying visions go and read it in the Bible Peter thought he was under the influence of the Spirit of God when he was trying to rebuke Jesus from dying and Jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me Satan for Peter Satan has desired to sift you like wheat, he said. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. He says, and when thou art converted, strengthen your brethren. There are many of you, the prophetic inclinations you are delving into. You may delve from a sincere heart, but it's not being sponsored by the Spirit of God. Including a semblance of healing mantles. There are people who have gone to fast and pray and came back with experiences that carry a semblance of spirituality but when we gauge them against the integrity of god's word we find it wanting on many counts again i'm praying the spirit of error that is creeping into your bible study life creeping into your prayer life taking advantage of your zeal and hunger for god and for spiritual things I command that devil of error to leave you now. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. God bless you. Please be seated. God bless you. These are the kinds of meetings that make people and preserve the program of God for the next 10, 20, 30 years if Christ tarries. Let me charge our hearts. Tonight as I'm speaking, the Holy Ghost is going to be giving people specific instructions about your own life and about your own ministry. Please make sure your ears are open to hear both. As you are hearing this man of God speak, 
in the midst of the things I'm saying, the Spirit of God is also going to be speaking. I wish I had a little fan around me. I'm sweating up and down. Please, if you can find a fan for me just to help encourage me while I'm here, may God bless you. Even if it's from a distance, don't, don't, um, please make sure that you don't take from that which is on our fathers yes anywhere just something to help thank you sir but what happens to them now please let's let's hallelujah tonight i want to charge our hearts finally and then we'll pray you have received many things in the course of this conference thank you i think this is fine if this becomes too close, it will affect the sound quality. So that's fine. You can return it back. This is fine. Maybe you can replace that one there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. I had the name Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. You are wearing... You are wearing a headgear that is like um, baby pink. Rebecca. Rebecca. Is there someone like that? No, let, please verify. Come. What's your name? No, let them come up. I will just speak over your life. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. Yet the person the power of God is falling on is right in the crowd there. Please bring that message. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw oil coming on one of you now. When that happens, then I will speak over the rest. But among you people, the power of God is coming on one person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new season and there is a deliverer that is arising. I had that name, Rebecca. Every weakness in the name of Jesus, of the flesh that is not giving you room to access spiritual things. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free right now what he says to one he says to all be set free right now be set free right now Abiodu, who is Abiodu? Abiodu, please don't come out carelessly just because let's make sure so we don't make this place rowdy Abiodu, not your father's name your name Abiodu. Hallelujah. Now listen, this is serious. Please hear me. I saw light just leave God's servant, Pastor Shola, up. And then it was just roaming around. And it, it is looking for somebody with the same name. Your name is Olu Shola. Is it Olu Shola? Or something like is there some is there, is that it in it or is it olu or, or, or de shola or something like that i know there is shola in the name i saw that light just went up and like hovering around because there will be a replica of this kind of abel kuta believers meeting beginning from this year god is going to stand it will be in other parts of abel kuta believe me it may not be called abm but an anointing this night is coming on people with mandates you will go to regions and start putting together meetings like this that will start filing god's army for the next season and i'm saying this because some of you even as pastors as a ministerial couple that mandate will come upon you and god will say i'm trusting you trusting you trusting you be all the glory hallelujah look at this listen Listen, do you know why I decided to ask them to come out? 
there is something that happens to you when the word becomes flesh it's one thing to hear the bible says in acts chapter 8 it says verse 5 that philip went down to samaria and there he preached christ unto them then the next verse says the people in one accord they gave heed to the things that he speak seeing hearing and seeing the miracles which he did hearing and seeing look at this everyone trusting god for the fruit of the womb come out mama please come up here if you are not married go back please except if you are standing for someone if you are trusting god we are res we are responsible people so let me say it up front this this world today needs clarification over everything you have to keep explaining and explaining let's celebrate them as they come creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do creator of say what can't you do hold on why are these many people coming out for yourselves for your loved ones okay this is what will happen listen 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 hold on please I'm going if you are coming out for any other person just wait where you are you don't have to come out if not we'll crowd this place remember we need to finish on time hallelujah now here's what will happen I decree and declare that God will give you your own testimony but now may I request those who are standing for themselves please remain and then for the rest go back rejoicing Please, please, let's just obey instructions as God will grant us grace. You can't receive in disobedience in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are standing for someone, don't worry, just go back and trust God for a miracle. Remember the centurion, he said, you don't need to come to my house, speak the word only. This one is because God has instructed. Now, let me tell you the truth. Please hear me. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of living in the reality of these kinds of miracles in the lives of people across the globe and I say this with humility I can tell you the truth I understand something small about the miracle of fruitfulness I may not know everything but there are some things that I understand I'm going to pray for you and I want you to believe God and open up your heart I'm joining my faith with every man of God that corporate grace we are agreeing as the vessels of God that everything that has brought reproach to you hallelujah here is the word that I want to declare unto you Genesis 21 verse 1 the Bible says and God visited Sarah as he had said and God did unto Sarah as he has commanded in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now the spirit I want to rebuke the spirit first mama just be patient I'm going to bless this our beautiful baby in the name of Jesus Christ right now every spirit that is responsible for barrenness responsible for any kind of demonic thing I stand as one sent and in the company of men and women of God go now go now Every womb that has been closed in the name of Jesus we command that womb to be open now regardless what the medical situation is madam the power of God is coming on you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree by this time next year may the Lord honor you with this same testimony for some of you for the years you have waited it's not only one child you will have may god give you twins and even triplets help her please twins and triplets in the name of jesus christ
it was void it was formless is the greek word toku wabohu confusion and chaos every time there was confusion as we see in the bible it was the holy spirit the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters don't discuss your confusion and tragedy and pain introduce him to hover over it because every time the holy ghost hovers over that unemployment over over that family issue there is about to be creation this is what the bible teaches even god did not speak till he verified the presence of the holy spirit when the holy spirit was there the bible says and god said so before you say verify that he is there it is the union of his presence and your speaking that produces creation not just your speaking your speaking will be empty and barren except the holy spirit leads the way lift your hands in one minute and thank god for tonight someone is praying pray in the spirit all the experience centers those following online go ahead and pray in the spirit take a minute or two and invest in your destiny as you pray in the holy ghost it says but be ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith pray it in the holy ghost is someone praying in the spirit pray pray yourself in superior spiritual dimensions dimensions of power dimensions of grace dimensions of light dimensions of influence ascend realms in the spirit he said come up hither and i will show you the things that will happen afterwards please pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord can i take a minute to speak over those who are trusting god i know that you've been prayed for but i just want to generally speaking speak over your life whether it's infirmity or any situation at all that has mocked god in your life you've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything Help me! Oh, may my... Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable You're my father Let me pray for you The Holy Spirit is that powerful The Holy Spirit is that powerful able to sponsor salvation even to the uttermost able to bring healing to your body able to rewrite the narrative of your life and your destiny and here at this conference we're trusting god to accent heights in the spirit levels of grace even by the spirit zachariah said it is not by might it is not by power but it is by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 it says son of man stand up upon your feet and it did not have that power that energy verse 2 says and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare 
over every ministry here represented every business here represented every family here represented and every challenge here represented by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus find rest now find rest now find rest now find rest now in the name of jesus christ the bible says in genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 he says now abraham was old and well stricken in age he says and the lord had blessed him in all things all things all things not some things there was a man called naaman the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a fata be open a fata be open career doors be open career doors be open family doors be open financial doors be open in the name of jesus christ son of man can these bones live again it says only down the west it said prophesy to these bones and tell them oh bones hear ye the word of the lord that god will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you but the flesh was there but it was lifeless it says son of man call the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this lane and they became an exceeding great army i declare let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon dead finances dead marriages dead wombs dead organs come back to life by the spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for the sake of time i made a request in the morning we may not have the time to collate them but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards can i speak over them please if you have it if it's in an e-version just lift your phone or just stand by faith and for those who are connecting distance is no barrier at all all of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe this is how powerful god is hallelujah pray in the spirit in one minute a miracle is about to happen to you
just do what i'm asking you to do philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known don't assume that he knows let your request be made known hallelujah hallelujah now keep it lifted please help them i'm about to pray for you and i please want you to believe i want you to believe i'm standing under the corporate anointing here and i want to speak over this creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus creator of sex your hands lifted Jesus told us that when the Spirit of God comes he will testify of him he does not have any agenda on his own except to reveal Jesus to reveal him as the way to reveal him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the Holy Spirit his assignment is to reveal Jesus in his entirety I want to pray for you right now please believe believe in the name of jesus take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on jesus in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 in the name of jesus christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water i decree it unto you you will not see wind you will not see rain but your valley shall be filled with water in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for another person here you will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod that even though it is not connected to the earth it will still board I decree and declare you may not have any regular advantage but may the Holy Ghost be your advantage in your office may he be your advantage in Lagos in Abuja in Nigeria in Europe in America may he be your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the lifeless body of jesus is lying in the tomb of joseph of arimathea and my bible says if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead that if that same spirit resides hold on that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is it raises whatever it rests on anything if it rests on a body it quickens the organs if it rests on finances it compels multiplication if that same spirit that spirit is a razor it does not leave anything at the level it met it if that same spirit i sense in my heart to declare over your finances please listen to me and don't allow anybody lie to you that is not important no there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established 
believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially i command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance through the gift of men in the name of Jesus Christ and for someone lifting your request I speak to you these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of god it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living god we fan your prayer life back to flames we fan your word study life back to flames we fan your passion for god for the things of god for the house of god back to flames in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus wave your hands to jesus as an offering in faith believing it says what things soever ye believe when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them is someone saying thank you jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the new dimension thank you for the flight in the spirit for in jesus matchless name we have prayed we have prayed we have prayed we need to satisfy that hungry soul hallelujah praise the name of jesus praise the name of jesus let me pray for you if you believe that god is in a place you must know he's in a place it starts with believing but it does not end in believing it ends with manifestation if you believe god is all powerful it must show in your life if you believe god prospers somewhere in the journey of your life there should be a capture of the riches of god hallelujah man of god god is speaking to you that your ministry will be 10 times more impactful if it translates from a realm of sermons alone to a realm where the things that you communicate there is grace from heaven you can't fake this thing no dominion the ability to create and manifest the ability to correct and restore I'm saying this because that is what is happening to someone right now while you are standing for many of us creation is happening manifestation is happening when saul met with samuel samuel did not have to prophesy and say donkey return back the donkey knew what happened to him at that contact people bring in their atmospheres and there are possibilities that happen in certain atmospheres hallelujah my apologies for taking the time now let me pray no, don't lift your hands i will direct you on what to do hallelujah no shouting no saying anything please just stand i want to pray and these people that the power of god is coming on right now please listen carefully listen these two people or this these people not two people that the power of god is coming on i want to tell you why it is happening so you don't just fall and shout for nothing listen carefully 
the power of God is coming on these two people to do two things number one everybody the power of God is going to come on now is a sign that there is a prophetic mandate on your life for your family and for those who are looking up to you this is what God is telling me right now I declare by the authority of the kingdom men and women there is there is a mandate from the spirit oh that anointing will find you i assure you this is not this is wherever you are that means there is something help that protocol in the name of jesus christ there is a mandate upon your life oh you may not know it but it's before young and old male or female maybe no one has told you this this impartation and activation is already prophecy to your life that God has been saying I am waiting for you help them please no shouting let me just pray for you the ability to create and transport realities from the realm of the spirit and make it manifest here and now remember it's beyond falling down falling down is an elementary spiritual level very very elementary we're talking about the ability to be able to effect potent changes hallelujah number two i want you now to help those who will start running out please whether you are an usher or not i want you to help them because i declared speed we're wrapping up but right now by the power of the holy spirit people will start running out now it is a grace for speed that is coming upon them help them please just bring them out gently you don't have to so they don't enjoy themselves please help them help that lady someone just hold her This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm only acting as the spirit of God is revealing you will be surprised I'm still praying for speed that if there is any spirit that has tied people down that will not release you no you must go I'm saying it again may that grace for speed find you now find you now in the name of Jesus I speak by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 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 now this set of people i'm praying for i want you to bring them out please very quickly i want you to bring them out the ones i'm about to pray for now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare the lord is telling me that there are spiritual graces and giftings that have been dormant within people and that fire is releasing you right now i want you to bring those people out I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus may that grace be activated it's long been there but prophecy is calling it forth please whether you are an usher or not help those under the anointing and you bring them out hallelujah please bring them out very quickly so we'll wrap up I activated by the spirit bring them out no more weakness in the name of Jesus no more weakness by the Spirit of God no more weakness what do you do my friend can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ drink of this well may you be powerful may you be great no no you don't need to come in the name of Jesus I pray for you may that hand rest upon you please help them Help them in the name of Jesus. May that hand rest upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over families. 
I just saw like a dark cloud being lifted over families this is what I saw in the spirit right now that grace is coming on you a dark cloud from this night many people will begin to testify age-long situations I'm declaring it by the authority of the kingdom I bring you power from the throne in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God families that dark cloud that siege that has sat on families I declare be lifted be lifted be lifted over ministries be lifted in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know this woman madam what do you do huh just you huh husband and, husband and wife hold your hands I saw light coming on both of you and the Lord says that there are things here and there to adjust but he wants to help you can I pray for you I stretch my hands both of you receive that grace let it open you up to a new season in ministry in the name of Jesus Christ I decree it by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ I decree it by the spirit of grace now there are two gentlemen here you have been praying for the healing anointing I know there are many people but these are two people the Lord is showing me right now power is coming upon you from heaven is a dimension of the healing ministry you know one of the ministries God is restoring before he returns is the healing ministry I submit to you that we have lost the healing ministry in the body of Christ there are pockets here and there but there are people who will be an embodiment of the healing power of Jesus I don't know where those two people are but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare may the hand of the Lord rest upon you right now rest upon you right now let there be a stirring from your spirit man capacity to heal nations bring healing to the nations healing to the nations healing to the nations I'm saying it I quicken your spirit man healing to the nations you will carry that healing mantle from state to state from city to city in the name of Jesus Christ we have to wrap up please hear me whatever it will take tomorrow let me encourage you if it means bringing the entire river state if there is no space if it means to sit on the roof like they did in the Bible please stay there tomorrow I'm going to take time to minister I want to show you the systems of dominion I give you a guarantee by the intelligence and the integrity of scripture that your life will shift in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ you know a man of God in this city who is hungry and whose heart is open for a change. Please invite them to come. This is no longer just a house on the rock program. It is God visiting a territory. Do not allow someone's hunger to go and thirst to go unquenched. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I just saw a crown fall on the ground and the Lord is saying let that crown be restored back open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray something is about to fall in this place mm. man of God pray preachers pray it's time to carry genuine power the earnest expectation creation awaited the manifestation of the sons of God it's time for every altar and every pulpit to carry genuine fire genuine fire America hear me God wants to restore fire authentic fire fire that leads to soul saved fire that leads to life transform someone is praying forget about who is at your left and right focus on Jesus and cry from the depth of your spirit You are the one that 
transformation and your empowerment you give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for oh our hearts always hunger for now listen everyone Listen to me. Please lend me your attention. Lend me your attention. I shared yesterday that there are two ways to receive the power of God. Number one is directly from God through encounters. Help a lady who begins to run now and shout under the anointing. Please make sure that they don't injure themselves, whether you are an usher or not. Hallelujah. Watch this. Number two, the second way to receive is through impartation and I told you this morning that impartation is a transference of possibilities that when God anoints a man he intends for that anointing to reach everyone who is hungry and ready to receive not just for one person to hold it and merchandise it unfortunately are we together now hear me we are going to get straight into the miracle service that is already on. There are three things that will happen here as my assignment this morning. Number one is an impartation that is already ongoing. Number two, I'm going to be praying for the sick and that includes every oppression, whatever it is. You can stand in for yourself and stand in for your loved ones. Believe me when I tell you by God and upon the grace that is on our Father, there is no devil against your destiny that will remain after this encounter. You will marvel and wonder at the power of God. And then number three, prophetically, we are going to pray over our families and all the issues of concern and lift up a cry to heaven when we're done and ask the Lord to visit us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen, I want to pray. I ask the people to come out not just for a show there is a reason why I ask now I'm going to make three requests number one whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you as much as you are receiving for yourself please do well to manage them so they don't injure themselves are we together and then eventually so that we do not have this place becoming so chaotic we may need to ask one or two of you to please volunteer and help when the time is needed so please do avail yourself if there's need to manage people this is not just some misbehavior of people there are many things happening to those you see under the anointing there are deliverances there are healings there are breakthroughs and there are impartations now I want to pray for you Many years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me. 
and when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me many of you may have heard it in my encounters he stretched his hand towards me and when he stretched his hand towards me light at his brilliance left his majesty Jesus and entered into me listen how I survived is something that is mysterious you cannot receive that kind of life now unfortunately and I say this respectfully today many claim to have seen Jesus many claim to even spend all the time with him but we cannot see that evidence of a genuine encounter go and read your Bible it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter I was not myself again the world became like a foreign place but in another encounter the Lord spoke to me please listen he said to every city and to every nation and every region I will send you to in every meeting there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you that that light must rest upon the person that is why you see all of these manifestations it doesn't necessarily make us anything it is not some celebrity man of God this is not what we're here to do we're here to reveal Jesus but I'm telling you that you are immersed in a cloud of glory right now and as I begin to pray for you I'm going to be releasing grace from heaven to rest upon you thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus everyone here who has the call of God upon his life that God has called you to serve in the ministry I release grace upon you now take that fire 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 America I bring you the fire of revival authentic apostolic revival take that fire take that fire take that fire let it burn in your spirit let it burn in the churches let it burn in your homes let it burn in the hospital let it burn in the school take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ the call of God upon your life it's time for that evangelistic call to find expression it's time for that pastoral call there are some of you who are called to be intercessors there are many women here like Anna the prophetess may that grace come upon you intercessors intercessors men of fire women of fire 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 I want to pray right now I believe that there are people here who will become end-time financial apostles men who will be trusted with the wealth of nations I don't know where you are but I stretch my hands may that mantle of a kingdom financier let it come upon you men who will sponsor the gospel men who will sponsor the gospel empowered by grace empowered by God hallelujah now hear me very quickly if you are in this place and you are trusting God for a healing any part of your body or you are trusting God for a loved one now is the time to be healed I want you to place your hand right at the point you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest standing for your loved ones standing for yourself don't doubt don't doubt believe 
I want to pray. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb of I want to pray for you now. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, something happens. When I mention, hear me, I'm about to pray for you now. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. As soon as I pray, healings are already taking place. I'm going to ask a few of you who have received a miracle. Let's have maybe one of the pastors, maybe Pastor Emmanuel or so. Let's have one or two of the pastors so that as soon as you receive a miracle, they will just direct you who have one or two testimonies let's shame the devil here at this campground and let the devil know that the rccg youth and the church even of young people and believers in america is still strong and alive and that jesus will forever be glorified now lay your hands as i pray shout aloud amen as i pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every devil of infirmity, I stand upon the grace of our Father and the grace of Jesus Christ and I declare every spirit that is behind every infirmity in the name of Jesus be gone now, be gone now, be gone now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed ah, Shabakato Seketa. be healed in Jesus name there's someone God is healing your arm your right arm severe pains the power of God is touching you now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pains around your neck area. You can't even sleep on one side because of the pain. Right now in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. Every growth in your body, I command it to disappear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just saw like a sword of fire. And the Lord is saying he's delivering two people from depression. This is an acute state of depression. I command that spirit of depression. Leave them now. Leave them now. Leave them now. Out of their destinies in the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare every blood condition be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Migraine headaches be healed now. Every bone condition, pains around your joints be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone having severe back pain. In fact, you can't bend very properly. It's, it's excruciating. Right now, I decree and declare the power of God is touching you right where you are. 
touching you right where you are. I'm seeing someone, your molars, there's, there's severe pain around your molars. The Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is healing you right now. Eye conditions, be healed now. Ear conditions, be healed now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone I think it's like your elder sister is suffering from cancer. They diagnosed her of cancer in the name of Jesus. I don't know where that person is, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter what stage, we reverse it now. Cancer be healed. I hope you know that you are standing in for your loved ones. There are various stations, there are hospitals who are praying in the name of Jesus. There's someone who has excruciating chest pain. It looks like ulcer. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you now. Touching you now. Inability to sleep. Inability to sleep. You lie down on the bed, but you are not able to sleep. Max one hour and that's it. In the name of Jesus, I release you from that oppression. Now hear me, anyone here called barren, unable to be with child, or for your loved ones who are connected in the name of Jesus Christ, by reason of this miracle service, according to the time of life, by this time next year, they return with their children. By, by this time next year, they return with their children. By this time next year, they return with their children. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you have severe pain around, this is my right eye. Severe pain. You can see, but it comes with severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, the power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady you're having like a lump around the left area of your breast in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you we cause that devil from your body we cause that devil from your body the Lord is healing two ladies I'm seeing from severe bleeding this is what I'm seeing severe bleeding the power of God is going to come upon one of you and I declare that that satanic oppression I don't care how long it has been severe bleeding I'm seeing the Lord bring it to an end right now shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to minister to someone that every time you go to bed you keep seeing dead people people who have long gone you keep seeing dead people the Bible says what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness what communion has darkness has to do with light in the name of Jesus I severe that connection everything that connects you to the dead I declare in the name of Jesus you are delivered now 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 in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, be healed now. There's someone you have diabetes, sugar diabetes. The power of God is touching you now. I'm seeing healing for diabetes. In the name of Jesus, I cause every devil. My God, I just had the sound of chains. Chains. I want to pray. Every chain holding anyone down, I declare at the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released now. Be released now. Every chain holding your destiny. Be released here at this convention. I release you now. I release you now. He said, let my people go that they may go and serve me. Every kind of chain, chains of addiction, chains of, of demonic oppression, be free from it now. Every kind of addiction, we break that chain now. We break that chain now.
Hallelujah. Now hear me. I want you to begin to check yourself. For those under the anointing and for those who are standing, the moment you find out there are so many miracles happening here, the moment you find there's a miracle, I'd like you to boldly leave your seat. Just come to Pastor Emmanuel. They'll just have a word with you and then we'll allow you. Okay, there are two pastors here. There's another pastor. People are coming out. Are you celebrating them? Look what Jesus is doing. Check yourself. You find there's a miracle. Make your way to the front very quickly. Every pain, do what you couldn't do before. Come on, America. Is this how you celebrate miracles? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Make your way out. Come. For someone here, the same way you saw the power of God move today, may that be what follows your ministry. May that be what follows your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while they are coming out, i like us to pray one prayer point. Are you tired? Can we pray? Are you determined that your destiny opens up? Say after me, Father. One more time, say Father. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that from today I go forward prophesy go ahead and pray I go forward forward in life someone is praying I go forward in destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost I go forward he told Moses tell the people that they go forward is someone going forward pray is someone going forward the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day the Bible declares. One more prayer point. Say Father. One more time. Father. In the name of Jesus I declare a restoration of everything I have lost. Finances relationships open your mouth and begin to pray command the restoration and I will restore unto you the years is someone praying I will restore I will restore are you declaring restoration and I will restore the years in the name of Jesus 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 now um, before you sit down the Lord is showing me somebody um, not to get you emotional but it's like I'm seeing someone and then I'm not seeing the person again is it a baby that died or something it's like there was a loss um, whether you lost a baby who is that person come your baby your mother you lost your mother when Yesterday. It's 13 years today. Oh, okay, okay, I see. The person I'm talking about, you lost your child. You... I did. I was pregnant, like, from last year. I lost the baby in February. Oh, you lost the baby. Listen, I'm not calling you to embarrass you, eh? This is, this is so that because you are going to receive double. I'm calling you up. Do you believe in the power of God? Don't cry, madam. This woman lost her child. Oh my God. Don't cry. You see, look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Many of you may never understand the pain of losing a child, losing a loved one. Sir, don't cry. My dear sister, don't cry. You see, if this is the reason why God allowed for this meeting, it was worth it. To be able to speak first the message of love even before power the bible says to comfort those who mourn in zion so even in zion there can be people who mourn 
Some of you are crying right now, but I want to pray for you. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. Now, let me pray for you. Listen, for those of you who lost your children, I want to pray for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Every couple here that has lost a baby or has lost, you know, in pregnancy or whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, first may the Lord comfort you. And every spirit of untimely death, as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for someone here. Every spirit of untimely death, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, release God's people now. Release God's people now. No one under the sound of my voice will die before your time. And as I pray for you, I pray for your children. As I pray for you, I pray for your family members. Where is that believer? Shout a loud amen. Now in the name of Jesus, for those who, has, who have lost loved ones, may my God comfort you. The Holy Spirit is called a comforter. May you be deeply comforted in the name of Jesus. And for those who are trusting God, by the way, how many of you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Don't come, just lift your hands. My God will surprise you because I, I sense that anointing as I was praying and I want to release that grace now. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You don't have to come out. I will pray for you aside those who are here already. Just place your hand on your stomach as a sign of, sir, you and your wife, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. I pray for everyone here, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, as Eli prophesied to Hannah, as Elisha prophesied to the woman in Shunem, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, no matter how long you have been without a child, by this time next year, return with your miracle. By this time, return with your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what the medical condition is, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we bring you life, we bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man, help that woman. The power of God is resting on her. I'm seeing something move from her stomach. It's over right now. Name of Jesus Christ, all forever. May the Lord bless you. Please return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Appreciate the time. I apologize. I know I've stretched us a bit. But I want to pray one prayer right now for sake of time. I promise you that I was going to pray for the sick. Sadly, we may not be able to do that. I'm sure that another time God will grant us grace. But I want to speak over your life and your destiny. I want you to believe it. Men are made by the words that come upon them. You don't have to kneel. Please, I want you to believe. We did not invent this strategy. The fathers have spoken over us. And it has brought us to the grace that we, we have today. This is a baton. We are not the inventors of it. We only received it too. I want to pray for someone maybe not everybody but i know that there is someone scattered in this congregation who has fasted who has prayed who has prepared their heart and you are saying sir you don't have to come out you don't have to come out right where you are i want to pray for you even those under the anointing just help them as i pray you don't have to bring them out but please whether you are an usher or not anyone under the anointing just help them i want to pray for you truly 
there are graces and there are mantles we are made by the graces that rest upon us i do not want to end this session without speaking over your life i want you to receive every prayer i want to activate certain dimensions in your spirit man some of you have seen this in your dreams some of you have seen it in your visions some of you know that the hand of god is upon you right now i declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead at the count of three that fire let it come upon you and ignite you set you on fire to do marvelous things are you ready one two three take that fire right now take that fire right now Take that fire right now. Take that fire right now. Help them please. Now hear me. Hear me. I don't know how possible this will be. Listen. I've graciously been given about five minutes or so. Now, please, if someone is under the anointing, I just want to bring them out here. Just out here if you can. It will require both the ushers and every other person. I want to pray for you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, the name that is above all names. Hear me, as you shout that name, such fire will ignite you and you will be set ablaze. For many of you, there will be activations of the gift of the Spirit. Are you ready now? At the count of three, I stand upon the grace of our Father and I declare to you, let there be that impartation. One, two, Three, shout Jesus. Take that grace. Take that anointing. Take that grace. That empowerment. Fire upon your destiny. Fire upon your life. In the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. I ignite your prayer life. I ignite your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus. Step into a new season. Now hear me. In Jesus name. Now listen carefully. Please help them. We are praying. Hear me. There are people here. The call of God is upon your life. And God has been working upon you. I want to pray right now. That fire is coming upon you. Apostolic fire. Prophetic fire. At the count of three. Anyone here who has the call of God. One. Two. Three. Take that fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Hear me. In this end time, there are women that are rising up after the order of Deborah. There are women that are warriors in the spirit. I pray for you. Wherever you are, may this fire come upon you right now. May this fire come upon you right now. There are some of you, hear me, some of you are kingdom financiers. You represent the next generation of men and women that God will be trusting with resources. I don't know where you are, but everywhere you are under the sound of my voice, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you right now. Receive that anointing now. Receive that anointing now. Receive that anointing now. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life 
is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life is changed Near the same You touch His grace Your life must change Listen, praise the Lord. Listen, listen. Please look at me. At the count of three, you are going to shout that name again. Every embargo of delay sitting on anyone's the to say you will not go forward by the privilege of the grace of our fathers in the name of Jesus. At the count of three. May the mantle for speed come on your destiny. Are you ready to shout Jesus? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Delay, be broken. Delay, be broken. Delay in destiny fulfillment. Be broken. Delay, be broken. upon your life speed upon your destiny speed upon your life hallelujah hallelujah now hear me hear me there is a grace for prayer that makes a man's altar to come on fire I don't know who did praise for this grace but I stretch my hands Katasko Keta. the grace for prayer an intercession take that grace now take that grace now the fire upon your altar let it keep burning day and night there is a grace for favor hear me there is a real grace for favor that can make men come to attend to your needs I stretch my hands you may not have an uncle you may not have an auntie you may not have a sponsor but right now in the name of Jesus upon this altar I prophesy any destiny helper that needs to arise and locate your destiny I command may they find you now Hallelujah. Please go back. Please go back. If you are not under the anointing, just go back. Please. Don't worry. Just go back. Everyone will receive. The only people out here are those under the anointing. Don't worry. Now hear me. I was given five minutes to pray for the sick. I want you to lay your hands any part of your body where you are trusting God for miracles. At subsequent sessions, you can testify. But I want to pray for you right now. Lay your hands very quickly. I believe in miracles. I want you to agree with me as I pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity plaguing your body, your destiny, I command that it lets you go right now in Jesus name now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed right now be healed right now migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name blood help them please blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every genotype here sickle cell anemia we change that genotype right now 
in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anyone under the sound of my voice called barren I stand upon this altar and I speak over your life nine months from now return with your miracle children every blood disease every blood condition be healed right now in Jesus name partial or complete deafness be healed right now in Jesus name partial or complete blindness be healed right now in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name the Lord is healing someone of pile pile be healed right now in Jesus name whether I mentioned your case or not every ailment in your body let it bow to the name of Jesus right now hallelujah please lift your hands we're wrapping up let me speak over your destiny every door that has refused to open over your life and destiny right now I stand upon the privilege of the grace of our father and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door a father be open now doors of destiny be open now hear me every embargo of shame and reproach over anyone's life and any family by the mystery of the blood of Jesus we tear off that veil of shame from your life failure at the edge of breakthrough that you always see it but never handle it right now in the name of Jesus everything your eyes sees may your hands handle it in Jesus name I pray for those of you who are students hear me if you are a student here in the name that is above all names the finishers anointing the grace to finish with honor I impart that grace upon you in Jesus name some of you because of the circumstances that have happened around your life there has been delays around your life by now you would have gone far but something delayed you I don't know who has been delayed in life by prophecy I push you to the next season of your life <laughs> hallelujah finally by the privilege of God's election of grace and the honor of standing on this altar let me join my faith with your intercontinental pastor and our father in the Lord to prophesy over the youth the entire youth arm of the redeemed Christian Church of God everything that is alive grows therefore I stand on this altar and I declare by this time next year be ten times better than you are by this time next year be ten times better than you are regardless the region regardless the province be ten times better than you are spiritually financially hallelujah hear me and out of the people standing here may it please the Lord to raise the next generation of leaders in this nation as background and the rest is concerned God is giving you a key tonight that can help you are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet
rise up on your feet let's take a minute or two to pray and then i'll speak over your life listen to me i want you to hear this while you're standing i hope that in another teaching god will grant us grace probably next year to teach you about men there are things about men you need to understand one all men are men so let it be no news to you all men no matter how great no matter how anointed all men the best of any and every man is still a man so there should be no surprises number two listen carefully that as flawed as men are god still hides his treasures in men the secret of working with men was found in the riddle of samson out of something strong came something sweet samson passed to go and see a particular woman and he found he killed a lion and after seven days the bees they did not find a fresh green tree to put honey they went and put honey inside the carcass it's a riddle there if you want the honey you must be willing to endure the smell of that carcass in the midst of the smell of that carcass there is still honey in it out of that angry man still there is an anointing that can lift you out of that nonchalant father who does not care whether your school fees is paid or not there might be one prophetic blessing that can come out of his bowels to lift you out of that self-centered relative who does not care if you die one day his influence is able to open a door for you out of that man of god who always looks sarcastic talks sarcastic one day you will find the treasure of wisdom that can help you out of your siblings that may not seem to be people who have whatever kind of wisdom you desire something will come out from them that will become your blessing prayer point number one lord give me the stamina and the discernment to endure relationships until that which was supposed to come out from them to me comes lift your voice and pray the grace to endure and the grace to be an active contributor to every relationship go ahead and pray ministerial relationships business relationships Go ahead and pray. Even our relationship with God, there are times we don't understand Him. But we trust Him. We trust Him. There are times it does not make sense what He's doing. There are families who trusted God and lost loved ones. There are people who trusted God and lost jobs. There are times it looks like God seems to not be understood but even at that we still love him and we trust him there are times that you as a person your life becomes complicated even to you you may not even be able to explain and give definition to what you are doing someone is praying lord grant me the grace to know that all men are men at best grant me the grace to be able to endure the humanity of men until I receive that treasure that is locked up within them. Hallelujah. Last relation, last um, prayer point on relationships now. We are going to pray. Father, in this season, bring to my life the strategic people you have ordained for the next level of my destiny and listen 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 i'm not done and grant me the grace to maintain those relationships until they bless me do you understand the prayer point you are praying listen there are some of us because of this teaching god is going to close some relationships in your life believe me you will not like it but it's a circumcision they will have to go out because they are not profiting where god is taking you to and it does not have to be evil people there are good people who are not so constructed for where God is taking you. God will have to cut them out of your life. 
but then god is also introducing new people into your space and you must have the discernment to receive them because some of them will not come in the form that is worthy of reception you need discernment therefore pray lord in this prophetic season of my life bring to my life the people that are responsible please pray you are a politician you're a businessman you're a man of god you are following online you're a pastor watching you're a man of god lift your voice and pray a family person lord bring to my life in this season my heart is open for strategic connections connections that will be the lift the ladder and the leverage for the next level of my life grant me the fortitude to be friendly grant me the patience and the endurance to receive of these people when they come please pray send to my life oh god the men and women who are needed for the next season of my destiny and grant me the grace to invest strategically into these relationships you can also pray cut away from my life oh god relationships that will only end up destroying me cut away from my life oh god relationships that are not profitable as far as the next level of my kingdom agenda is concerned hallelujah hallelujah and god called abraham and lot went with him and lot went with him it's time for you to follow and follow sincerely and it's time for you to be followed to a safe heaven people should not follow you to doom and you should not follow men to destruction followership leads to glory and honor not destruction pay attention to your association there's no such thing as we're born together with no 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 throw away all those sentiments and be very unashamed go back let me give you an honest assignment maybe two of them number one go and write the list of the top five people in your life who are the greatest contributors to your growth your loving jesus and your excelling in life invest in those relationships i have taught it here you cannot generalize relationships and treat everybody the same not everybody thinks you are a big deal there are people today joshua selman to them looks like oh it's just one of those men of god that's all right there are people who joshua selman looks to them like oh it's, it's, a, it's a man of god i think he's doing something well there are others oh joshua selman is a relative somewhere there are others who believe that Joshua Selman is a gift from God, sent from God to them. I would be stupid to treat all these groups of people the same way. No, I love everybody, but I will not invest the same level of energy and passion into it. No. See, when you find people who make you a big deal under God, be unashamed to invest your time and energy and your resources. There are people who have shown genuine care, genuine love, genuine concern genuine prayer out of their way there are others who don't care i'm not talking about me i'm saying when you go and look at your emotional space your world today you will find people who sincerely love you who will give anything for you do not throw those people away no there are people who are very casual in your life construct your emotional energy don't just throw you but who likes you matters hear me i came into your city and i'm humbled by the gifts and the seeds that people have brought already it is not normal and it is not because i am apostle joshua selman it is a grace on your life everybody who blesses you has relatives in need whatever makes him forget them and comes to you must be of God hear me everybody on earth is a giver there's no such thing as stingy people they just feel you are not worthy to receive their seeds 
they will refuse to give you 10,000 rands for something and yet bring 500,000 rands and tell someone else let it be an honor to give you they are, are they stingy greed is relative to the grace that it responds to because even Egyptians can give to the slaves there is something that comes upon you when Pharaoh gives to you you are really anointed we have to pray South Africa the Lord wants to shift us to new levels hear me when God grants us access to these graces sometimes as men of God we mismanage these graces in pride the goal is that it be distributed to the body when he sends a word to Jacob is because he's looking at Israel many of you here are veterans in business Many of you here are men and women of God, music artists, business people, politicians, and all kinds of great people. And like I said in the morning, I'm not here tonight to insult your pedigree. I know that you have sustained intelligence and I respect your experience. But can we, in addition to that which we have received, trust God tonight? Even in heaven, he said, come up hither. There is still room for more praise the Lord and so I want to pray for you right now we are going to pray I taught you two things your mind and favor that success is not what you pursue is what you attract by who you are becoming And that everything you are looking for is also looking for you the assignment of conferences like this is to accelerate your meeting your house is in South Africa your land is looking for you I'm here to help you find it the donkey was also looking for Saul Saul was looking it was not just Saul that was missing or the donkey as far as the donkey was concerned, Saul too was missing. Listen. Listen. Your land has been asking, when will you come? Your clients have been asking, when will you come? You think they are the ones who are delaying. They are saying you are also delaying us. Your members are crying, when will you call us? My assignment tonight is to bring you together. Rise up on your feet. Shalatasia Takata. Lift your voice and begin to pray. It's a new season, truly. What you are looking for is also looking for you. The level that you seek is also seeking for you. The anointing that you seek is also looking for you. Harus Kanada Shiana Hasabadas. Someone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It's a new season. House of Treasures. South Africa. It's a new season. You are about to access influence in the place of exchange. This I know. Western shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us distant shores and the islands will see your light A 
hallelujah one more prayer point you're going to cry to the God of heaven it's time to shift Lord the grace for favor let it rest upon me here and now please lift your voice and pray the name fade away let every other name fade away till there's only you let every other name fade away let every other name fade away Jesus take your place Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how we're going to do it. I thought I'll be able to pray for the sick this night. Because it's a final night. I know that our time is gone. I came with a heart to really shift you to a level. Supernatural dimension in the spirit. Come, this fair man, come. Yes. I don't know what you do, but you're about to step into a new dimension. Lift your voice. I release that grace upon you. You, lift your hands. You, this one looking at me, take that grace. Step into a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to pray for you now. Bring the lady that shouts now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. We're rounding up. The grace for favor is resting on you. I want to pray that grace. I don't know who you are. But in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that level. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. That lady close to this man, lift your hands, my dear. I stretch my hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the Spirit. By the Spirit. New dimension. Now, I'm seeing a grace that is coming on business people. I'm seeing the number 35. I stretch my hands. Where are they? Right now, take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I'm seeing the number 35. Let it fall on you right now. From the front to the back, the left to the right. Take that grace. I shift your business to a higher dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You are a prophet. I may not call you out because of time. But I'm seeing a strong grace coming on you for the prophetic. Lord, where is that person? Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest now. Rest now. Bring them out. Rest now. Step into new dimensions. Our time is gone. Please bring them out quickly. I pray the grace for speed in the morning. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. In the name of Jesus, South Africa, house of treasures, I stand by the God of heaven and I prophesy. Take the grace for speed. 
Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it. Help them, please. Receive it now. Speed. 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 No delay. A quick walk. Speed. Lift your hands. This man. Take that place. In the name of Jesus, I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, speed. Now listen, there is a grace that is coming on the women of South Africa. I want to pray. The grace that was on Deborah and the grace that was on Esther, there is an awakening. Women of power, visions, I'm seeing graces and mantles. Let it fall now. I stretch my hands. Deborah's arise. Esther's arise. I prophesy by the spirit of grace. An awakening of power. In the name of Jesus. Women of excellence. I empower you by the spirit. Rise in power. Do exploits. Rise in power. Do exploits. dimension my friend new level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a gate in the realm of the spirit closed and the Lord is saying I should open it this is a gate representing the next level of someone's life right now in the name of Jesus I speak by the spirit let that gate be open now let that gate be open now in ministry be open now in business be open now career be open now Every man and woman of God in this place, it's time for our ministries to shift to a level. To shift to a level. I stand by the Spirit and I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, the fire and the grace that comes upon you, let it turn you into a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. Let it rest upon you. I stretch my hands. I don't know where the ministers are, but I speak to you all over this congregation new dimensions new levels of power spiritual illumination understanding and insight in the name of jesus everything that has died in your life i speak to you by the spirit of god talita kumi arise arise Arise, shika poka tosiata, embreketeka, dead businesses. Arise, dead dreams. Arise. Hallelujah. 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 Hear me. There are many of you. You would have been in certain dimensions now. It says, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. I would have been in government by now, but Satan hindered us. My business would have been global by now, but Satan hindered us. In the name of Jesus, everything that has refused to be global, I give it wings in the spirit rise beyond the limitation of your local environment rise beyond the limitation of your local environment be global be global be global in the name of jesus the bible says where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I make you an eternal excellency the joy of many generations 
the grace for favor that opens you up to the ministry of men that opens you up to the loyalty of men in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I declare take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I pray for your loved ones who are not here wherever they are around the globe may the angel of his presence locate them and see to it that this grace rests upon them too hear me all of you who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I declare songs from the spirit rise to new levels in the spirit those of you who are in government I pray for you may this favor give you a ladder in this nation you will rise to the highest positions in the name of Jesus let me speak over your finances He said, by this time, tomorrow. And another foolish man stood and said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, he said, blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. <gasps> South Africa, I love you with all my heart, and God loves you. And it is his desire that in this season, in the midst of what is happening around the nations he wants to isolate your nation and make a spectacle of wonder out of it a spectacle of wonder proof that God is alive proof of the excellency of knowing the Holy Spirit I speak over your finances I invoke upon you the mystery of divine supplies the raven that brought food for Elijah and fed him at Bucheri, I pray, experience prepared blessings. Experience prepared blessings. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Whatever you have lost, some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost relationships. Some of you have lost influence I pray like the hair of Samson here at Excel 2020 receive restoration now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest then he said prophesy I stand by the God of heaven and I command everything that has left your life that should not have gone return back now opportunities return back now favor return back now the final prayer point tonight hear me listen he said my son give me your heart my son not give me your money not your titan offering listen what makes us different from those who are prosperous in the world is our passion and our allegiance that it will never change that even though i rise financially i continue to love him that my prosperity will not make me a fool listen to me what we are advocating is not just resources that come and produce some carnal people who are irresponsible and no 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 this is not what we are advocating please do not confuse what we are teaching here we are people who are disciplined and responsible with a kingdom sense and 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 a vision for national transformation we are not some careless people just doing some religious jamboree our relevance spans beyond the church walls Are we together so it is important that I say this 
Because what is on you now will work. But let it not be that when you have built houses, apostle, That's right. and you have done everything, you say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this. But thou shall remember. That means you can forget. Thou shall remember. I continue to tell the Lord, every level of influence and grace you grant me that will not let the nation see you in my life, don't take me there. It is a sincere prayer. Please hear this. The blessing of the Lord does not sponsor carelessness and childishness. No, we are disciplined people. And if you are not, adopt that philosophy. Let your life be disciplined enough to enter the palace of kings. Are we together? Don't allow money and prosperity and blessings just make us careless and sometimes we find ourselves doing a lot of things that justifies the accusations that are levied upon the body. We are, we are, we are not people who are, we are not a nuisance to society. The concepts that we teach are not just some spiritual things for Christians. They are concepts that are universal in application because the same Lord is rich unto all. So we communicate concepts that can be adoptable by both believers and unbelievers to the end that all of us lift and glorify the name of the Lord. I'm saying this so that we do not mistake all of these prophecies as an advocacy to promote lust. No. Your heart. This is how I end tonight. It is true that we have received something that is of substance and it is true that it will speak in our lives. But remember that God must be Alpha Omega. Not Alpha alone. Don't start with him and throw him somewhere to enjoy the fame. He must be Lord all the way. The Lord of your wealth. The Lord of your influence. The Lord of your excellence. That when men look at you and say, by what mystery do you command this result? You are not ashamed to point them like an usher and say, there is one greater than me. When the spotlight is on you and it looks so enjoyable to not let them see him, remember that in the midst of the lampstand, the attention should be one who was the son of man. The lampstands only attract you, but the object, we point the nations to his majesty. Father, we bless you for tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified. I did tell us to come with requests. Did you come with it? Okay. Please, Pastor, can you lend me two minutes? I mean, man of God, please come. Please let me plead with you. All of you, just bring it quickly. Let's pray on it. We have to honor this. We're people of integrity. I apologize. Our time is gone. It is not my intention to keep us longer than necessary. But please, very quickly. Um, you don't have to do this by yourself. Just, just pass it to someone and we're going to pray. Pass it to an, everybody. Just pass it to the last person on your row. Please write what must live your life now and bring it here. We want to pray. Pass it to someone. Pass it to someone. Okay, this is... His, what's his... Oh, okay. Those with the seed, maybe, maybe you can pass an offering basket. Would that be fine? Or you can just bring everything together. I'll pray on it here. Please, your requests. Just bring them quickly. Want to pray on it? I apologize sincerely. I apologize sincerely, but we have to do this. And very quickly, you can write something down by faith. This is not some ritual. No. Everything we do, we do with understanding. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Exodus 14, 14. It says that the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more forever. Please quickly, let's, let's do this in one minute. You don't have to come with it yourself. You can just pass it to someone who can help you. Maybe that will be faster. While you're doing that, can we just pray in the spirit very quickly? Um, okay, I want to pray on them. Will I have the chance to? Okay, the request, yes. Just, just drop them on the altar very quickly. We want to pray. I have seen the wonder working power of God from this mystery. Many of you will return with testimonies that will amaze you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And for those of you who are following online, I know that you may not be able to write and send, but you can just type it if you want on any of the social media platforms connecting 
And as we pray, the power of God will also reach you. Please clear the way for the, those coming. Let's make it very fast. Please clear the way. Protocol, please help us so that we'll make it fast. I'm seeing a woman who has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. This is, I don't know who that is. You're wearing black. Trusting God for the fruit of the womb. It's time. No, you're also standing. Okay, no problem. You're here. We have to pray. Hmm. You believe in Jesus? You believe you will return back with your children? Do you believe that? I don't care what the medical report is. How shall these things be seen that I know not a man? God just wants to give this miracle. My dear, look at me. Please stand. Is your husband here? We don't have the time. Don't worry. It's okay. I want just, just you. I, I, I'll pray for the rest, but just this lady. Where is her husband? Husband, where are you? Is he here? How are you, sir? God bless you. Do you believe that God will turn your story around? Hold your hands, both of you. Jesus. The power of God never, never ceases to marvel me. That grace is coming on both of you now. I'm seeing that gate opening. I release that grace. Go and return with your children right now. It's over. I pray for all of you. We're just, we're just trying to buy time while you're dropping the request. But I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray for all of you trusting God for the foot of the womb. Something is leaving you now. I'm seeing a spirit that is responsible for this delay. Go now. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, the Bible says, and given him a name. My dear, look at me. Be free now. I'm seeing something being loosed from your stomach. Be loosed in the name of Jesus. For you, my dear, let it, be, let it be, be free now. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you, I stretch my hands towards you. And I pray by the Spirit of God. Be free now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, like Eli spoke to Hannah. According to the time of life, return with your children. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Look at me. I pray that you will not have to go through surgery. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus. Never to return to you. I bless you all. In the name of Jesus. Go back and return with your testimonies. In Jesus name I pray. Now very quickly please. Stretch your hands towards the altar. We want to pray over this request. I'm standing in faith with the apostle over this house and I just want to believe with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bow to you, the God of all flesh. I lay my hands upon these requests. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon these requests. In the name of Jesus, as I'm praying, some of you instantly you are going to be receiving answers. I lay my hands upon these requests. Hmm, something is happening in this place. I lay my hands upon these requests. Joining faith with the angel over this house. I lay my hands upon these requests. In the name of Jesus, even the son of the living God. I declare to you by the Spirit of God that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. These Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. These Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. I don't know who you are, but in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that level. I don't know who you are, but in the name of Jesus, I shift you into new dimensions. Both of you, step into that.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.